Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here playing Gran Turismo Sport. We'll be playing with the Super Formula cars we played last video last week. And we're here at the Red Bull Ring. I figured we gotta do one of these cars at an actual F1 track. So that's what we're gonna do here. The Red Bull Ring. One of my favorite tracks, actually my favorite track to play in the F1 games. We're going to hop into it here in Gran Turismo 4. We're doing 18 laps just like I do in the 25% races in F1 2019. Uh, when we do those on the channel, we do 18 laps of the Red Bull Ring. That's what we're doing today. It's one of the tracks that I feel I'm probably the best at in the F1 games. I loved racing this in Gran Turismo Sport before I got into playing and watching Formula 1. Um, I just liked racing this track in this game when it launched in sometime in 2018. It was a stream of me trying it for the first time somewhere out there on my channel. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to race 18 laps of this awesome track. Oh, we went way wide there. But that's how you pick up some spots here in Austria. Lap 2 of 18. We are moving up already into 7th. Big passes here for the lead. Or for the lead. Nope, for position. Big positional passes, though. That's what we need to do. We're up into fifth here. Oh, don't lose it. Oh, don't lose it. <laughs> we almost did lose it off that bump there. Hard on the brakes here. Carry the car through the corner and back on the power once again. Slow it down through here. <laughs> All right. Lose the position there due to sneezing. Oh, I forgot I have an overtake power. Yes. Use that to rebuild my speed. No, never mind. Damn it. All right. All right, we need to lower traction control here. Really, really help me. Come on, get by this dude. All right, up the hill on the brakes once again. Go a little bit slow through here, but... We lost a lot of time to the leader just in that one turn. Should definitely hurt us, bro. Damn, we're just losing some time, dude. I don't know why the hell that is, but... Oh, that's gonna just absolutely kill our time, too. Great. That is absolutely fucked over our time, dude. I could have made it through there without crashing, that would have been fucking awesome, but I couldn't, not back in 10. And our one corner to really make up speed just got absolutely wasted there on that lap. We can slow down for this corner again, make it perfect. We 
gotta do. We just gotta drive good. We gotta not worry about the time, worry about the laps. Just worry about... Hard drive, really. The view may be beneficial to us, who knows. I think it was okay. See, that's what we need there. Get a big draft here, plus the overtake button. And we're thoroughly like trying to pull ourselves back into this thing now. Lightly on the brakes in this corner. Get a slow car here in front of us. Not a slow car, but slow to us down. They're too slow for me. And we definitely lost a little bit of time on that curb there. We cannot afford those types of mistakes. It's about a big charge to the front. That's what we did. We had a good charge up to about fifth. And then it sort of that charge just kind of died out, so. Do you go through here? To get the time with less than ten seconds behind now. Under ten seconds. That's big. Again, not trying to really focus on the time, and I do got to pay attention to it a little bit, but back up to 10 seconds behind. 10.5 now. We are into fourth, so we are gaining new positions that we hadn't gained before, but at the same time, we are also not we're actually further back than we were when we were in fifth and lost that earlier, so. We're a little less than halfway behind. We're halfway through the race. You're gaining some time here and there. We're just losing time through these corners. That's the issue. Ah, that's gonna fucking hurt, dude. Oh my god. One slight little mistake took us from being nine seconds behind to being back up to 12. We got more passes to make once again. Back up into fourth. We're now 11 seconds behind, so. We gained two seconds that lap, but. 
they weren't new new area speed wise they were gonna regain to where we were before my goal is of course to win this thing Feel is possible. I feel winning this race is definitely possible. Kind of killed it in that turn, but. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Out of my way, dude. 9.3, alright, so we are gaining faster than we were before. We're in a good spot. Good, good spot. I hit the brakes way too hard in that corner. That was a really, really good turn. We have eight laps to go. Here in Austria, we really, really gained a lot by that lap. That lap was crucial to our attack of the lead. Finally got the leaders in sight too. That's key. That is absolutely key to this thing. All working out here. corner right here which we did go out on the grass which we're still actually gaining speed through we took over second place another really really fast lap at 114 our last two laps have been our fastest laps of the race we are right on the leaders now we gained an insane amount of time in the last few laps and here we are once again going for now the lead here in Austria. I almost lost it all there though. Big slide, no more boost available all race either. I had to use it all just to catch where I'm at now. So we're out of that. Our overtake boost option is all gone. We've gone off in the gravel here. Slight mistake, but we still have time. We really, really had an impressive run of laps there. So I'm not too concerned about one bad lap like that. We are once again back up into second position. On the brakes here, into the turn. 
We are less than two seconds behind the leaders. We're behind the leader once again. On the brakes. Into the corner. Get on to the straight here. Yeah, that little bit of slot actually did help us make up some time. 1.1 now with our time behind the leader. Don't slide out there. Awesome. What do we need here? Big move to the lead. Here in Austria, lap 13 of 18 now. We went a little bit wide, but not that bad here. We'll slow that lap. That little turn was very slow for us as well. But we are doing overall pretty well now in this race. We've taken the lead. On the brakes into this turn here. Keep it close, then go a little bit wide there. Cut back over. Close to the curb there. Cut to the inside, close to the grass. Tuck the curb, let the car go wide here. On the curb, we have been passed. Not going to worry about that right now. Just hit the marks that we have to hit here on this lap. We will pass them back here in a second. Slightly on the brakes, nothing too hard though. We really just power our way back through there. Very close. Did not lead that lap, so we still not let, officially let a lap yet. A little bit of push there, both of us go wide. Come back on the track there for him. Once again, the leader of the race. Heading up the hill here in Austria. This hill is a very tricky one here because the hill to a blind hairpin, basically. Not a blind hairpin, but pretty close to being a blind hairpin. That's really the only tricky, tricky part, though. This track is overall on the easier side, but on the more fun side as well of any track on the F1 calendar. Hard on the brakes here, into the turn. Once again, I keep behind. Ooh, 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 that could have been bad. The rear tire almost touched the gravel, but did not. Right behind me here, once again, through this section. This is a little bit different to drive than driving the F1 2019 game, I will say that. That's one part that's also different is that through that section, I can do what I just did there for that pass. That is okay in this game. But not okay. In F1 A little bit on the curb there. That definitely, definitely affected my lap time there. I'm go hard on the brakes. He's gonna try to go for an outside pass. Not gonna work there though. The inside is way too strong uh, for you to get off of. On the curb there as well. Slightly braking there. Kind of ignoring that the game says breaks, so I don't really pay attention to that, it's just kind of there. Dab a break into this corner, just slightly hitting it. You can see down in the corner how much break I'm hitting compared to how much I'm letting off the gas. You 
can see those two bars moving. Gas being on the right, brake being on the left. You can see how much input there is into each part. Tell me, have a dab of brake and a dab of throttle through the turns here. Hard on the brakes into this turn, though. Big mistake in that corner, but we still kept the lead at a big enough distance that we could afford to make that mistake. Back on the power once again. And hard under the brakes into this corner. Curb there, lap 16 of 18 now. This is a good, good run for us here. These last couple laps. On the curb, onto the other painted flag looking bit. Keeping the speed up here. That's been our fastest lap since lap 12. As the being lap 10, a 114.865. It's only four seconds slower uh, than what you get sometimes out of the F1 cars around here. 110, 108. So that was pretty, pretty quick. Granted, we did have a speed boost that lap, and we did also cut uh, through some of those final two corners. You can really keep up the speed if you go wide. Which, if that was allowed in the F1 games, you don't get a penalty for it, you'd be even faster. We did just lose the lead there by touching the gravel. Definitely messed up our uh, run here. Really, really solid laps. We have lost the lead. We're down 1.3 seconds, which is fine, though. So probably gain most of that back through the fast section here. Because really what you want to do is you want to go through here. Break slightly for that, touch that curb, go way over here, break again as you go on the grass. Let's let the car go a little bit more wide here, and you're right back in that thing. And you're not normally able to do it. I did go a little bit slower, I'm going to crash going to the final lap, but... Get through here, give him a push out wide. Touch there again, I almost got spun though, that would have been absolutely terrible for the ending lap. But we did not get spun. We managed to keep it going. Hard on the brakes here into the corner. We just cannot afford to make a mistake this lap. Now they have the lead back. We cannot mess up, touch the gravel, whatever. Sand, whatever the hell it's called. Whatever it actually is. I don't know if it's gravel or sand. But, probably both. We didn't touch it there. We didn't even get close to the curb. I'm going to keep this thing as much like away from a pending disaster as possible. We did clip the grass that we're getting pushed through here. Get close to that curb. Get the curb there as well. Make this as straight as possible through here. The less turning input you need, the better. Slight bit of braking here. Now we just go for all out through here. Speed once again. Keeping it close on the track this time. No need to go into the grass. We're going to win it by 1.6 seconds. All that speed really picked up in that last corner. That's the thing. We were only like point, <laughs> point 0.1 or something. We picked up all that speed in that last corner. Just sped through there really, really quick. Gaining 1.6 seconds. It's about 1.5 in that last turn we gained. Very, very good, to say the least. So. That is that, though. That is going to be our Gran Turismo Sport video. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video. See what our prize car is for the day. Considering we're here, we'll do it. Let's get our prize, dude. Let's get our prize. And 
Wait, is that a Mercedes McLaren SLR? What? Oh, no way. No way. That's awesome, dude. Oh, let's go do the camera, actually. Right, let's go do our thumbnail. Because that was a fun thing to do um, for this video. Doing a thumbnail. Um, all scenes. Can we pick, like, a country? Do they have Austria by any chance? If you race Austria, they don't have Austria, huh? What's in Malaysia? What the hell? Patronus owns that? What the hell? Let's do this. Even though this has nothing to do with the video. Why the frick not, dude? Alright, so let's do this. Let's place the driver. Uh, I'll go right there. Alright. Let's take this picture. That's awesome. That's a really cool photo. Save this photo. Let's share it as well. Um, video. Awesome. Alright, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one.